the innocence of the agenda. Let's take a moment to look at the agenda through the loving eyes of the sheep types. In fact, let's do away with the concept of sheep for a moment and see those who seem to be blind as fellow citizens, fellow humans, and fellow travelers on this perilous path through life. Let's see them with love, compassion, and empathy. Let's say we are all sheep, all blind to some things, but with the earnest intention to see what we need to see in order to navigate in a healthy manner on this journey, thus considering ourselves and our brethren. We are all one, I mean that sincerely, those who have eyes, see, and those who have ears, hear. Don the sheep's coat of silky warm and safe wool for a moment and look through their eyes. What do they see? First of all, they see innocence in the agenda. They see government and non-government leaders and other persons of authority as doing their best to make our lives safe and more comfortable. And why not? Not only have we all been brainwashed since little children to see government, at least in a democratic society, to be benevolent. After all, they work for us, don't they? There is also a very strong history of benevolent government in our North American culture. So we are told. Books, movies, songs, myths, fairy tales, all have done their share in pounding into us the virtue of great American leaders, such as George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin, and the equivalent luminaries for Canucks. The great British Empire came before us, leading the great white male Christian way throughout the world, with their prim and proper style of imperialism and colonization. D those wogs clings and pockets, we know better. I have nothing at all against the Christian way or even the white way in and of itself. It is understandable that much of the world, for most of its civilized history, was dominated by these two powerful forces. Christianity and whiteness. Not because of any sort of Christian or white virtue, but simply because of the role of the dice. Really. It just so happened that the most powerful people, with the most money, were both Christian and white, and male too, come to think of it. Maybe most of you are white Christian male, and while you hold no grudge against any of those three elements defining your physical and spiritual identities, you can acknowledge how individuals fitting these criteria are often perceived as influential virtuous and generally benevolent within the free world, at least to those made up of similar features. At least it is what we have been told, as well as we're taught. Of course, if you dig only a tiny bit below the surface, you will see that not too many of these folks actually fit this virtuous model. In fact, humans of this sort have been more often than not greedy, loathsome, treacherous, and evil. Who knew? Apparently, not too many of us are good at reading a room. And again, I will reiterate, not all greedy, loathsome, treacherous, and evil men are white and Christian, or men for that matter, far from it. But those are the variety that we in the West are mostly accustomed and acclimated to. That may all change in time. All things change in time. So, what's my point? Well, my point is that we really have lots of reasons, so we think, to be trusting of the guys in the white hats and the white coats as well, but that's a slightly different story. It's a line and profile we have been fed for quite some time. Since day one actually. Remember too, no one votes for an ugly politician. You can't trust them unless they are pretty. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. We are told all these people who are on the show are, particularly if they claim to be innocent. And of course, they will always claim that they are innocent. They will also claim they were doing the best they could for the betterment of society. They will also, in the midst of the smoldering battlefield strewn with the dead and dying, claim what they did was for the best. It was to ward off. It was to preserve democracy. It was for peace in Europe. It was for peace in the Middle East. And why not? These are all noble causes. These are all causes we can stand behind, even if the actions the powers that be implemented failed miserably to accomplish the said goal, at least they tried. The reason we told you was a good reason, even if it wasn't the real reason. We believe they all thought it was a good reason. They will undoubtedly say. 
We didn't know the climate was not actually changing when we took away your cars, your travel, your heat, your air conditioning, your food, your water, your freedoms. We actually thought it would make a difference. Innocent. Ha, ha. And people will go along with this. They already have, as the powers that be, begin to implement their plan to fight the horrors of Mother Nature, weather and other natural disasters, who has been angered with the belligerence of the way too many human beings occupying the planet, with their plastic straws, plates and spoons, and all that other household garbage they lazily throw into landfills and into the ocean. In 15 years or less, people will be living in smart cities, with roadblocks placed strategically to slow traffic or block access. People probably won't even own cars then. They will not need to venture more than 10 minutes from their home. They will be eating bugs as their main food staple, they will live in 100 degrees Fahrenheit heat in their homes in the summer, and 30 degrees Fahrenheit cold, or worse, in the winter, because their fuel has been rationed. No one will travel anywhere anymore, because all common air travel will have been outlawed. But no one will really care, this is the price we have to pay for being such assholes about our environment for so many years, we deserve it. And when we are told all of these sanctions and restrictions didn't do any good in controlling the adverse weather conditions, or the conservation of the Earth's resources, people will say, well, it still was a good thing to do. God knows where we would be if we were not taking care of it now. Meanwhile, big industry will still be pumping millions of metric tons of pollutants into the air, rivers, and oceans. And the elite, the benevolent innocent ones, will still be living the opulent lifestyle they were living 15 years before. It wasn't their fault, they were only trying to make it good, trying to show us how bad we've all been, they were doing it for us. Meanwhile, as mentioned before, they are all flying around in their million-dollar private jets, enjoying the life that we all used to enjoy, but no longer are allowed to. The gods should live the good life, eh? Human beings have always thought this and allowed it, look at the worldwide monarchy phenomenon of not-so-distant times, and still going on in the UK. The rich and famous deserve their celebrity and their perks, regardless of what it brings to the lowly serfs below them. The useless eaters. Yep, that's us, folks. Hey, I am no Marxist. I do not believe in the motto from each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. I am not looking for uniform equality in wealth and goods. But I am looking for equality in power, thus eliminating tyranny and totalitarianism, and I do not believe that the most powerful should be allowed to rule the less powerful. Innocent. My sweet paddity, they're innocent. But they sure pretend to be, and the sheep, yeah, we can go back to calling them sheep again, they sure believe the rules. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.